think he wanted that. All right, looks like we got the whole place to ourselves tonight. So let's see what we can put together. I think I know what they're gonna bite, but you never know. So we'll try some different stuff and I'll take you all along for the ride. So enjoy. So first I gotta find the bottom and it's way down there. There it is. And then we're going to reel up about four feet and clip our line into the little line keeper. Now we're ready to fish. So we'll flip it out. Flip it out until the line stops and let it swing all the way back down. Hopefully they'll bite it on the fall. I'm going to add another jig, make a loop up here. Fishing with a double jig now. There's one. And that's a Leon special. Tiny bass or tiny puppy. But hey, we're catching them. On the swing. There's one. Keeper. That's a keeper. All right, guys. They're here. Boom. That's pretty goes. So I'm letting those jigs fall past where I know a brush pile is. And those crop are just shooting out of that brush and eating it. Small one. Not these. So they could hit it way out there and I'd have to set this way. Or they could hit it more underneath me and I just pull straight up so you never know where they are going to bite it. They could follow it for a while. It feels like a better one. For sure. Nice fish. Alright, let's drop down right here. Right where I got bit. Just drop down until we feel that keeper. That line catch on the keeper. That way we know we're at the right depth. See if there's any more keepers down there. Good thing about fishing hand ties is when your bait's 25 feet down there and you miss one, you don't have to pull it up to check the plastic. That's a good one. Yeah, keep her. These fish are fat. Ooh. You think he wanted that? You 
these are small black crappie. <coughs> Not a keeper. That's all baby shad. Pretty healthy body of water here. No shortage of small ones. No one hit way out there. try something different I've been fishing this double jig rig and catching some fish but I have this little swim bait and since I'm doing that long pendulum might as well have a bait on there that's swimming so let's try it hopefully this will secure us some more keepers and maybe a giant well, we like to eat this, so. I don't know. Maybe it'll work. Looks like a little shad. Let's try that on a jig head. All right, I switched up. I got a hand tie on the top and a jig head on the bottom where I can change out plastics and mess with that. So let's catch a fish. Oh, he does go. Oh, wait. He was, he was very close.
This is what they call a mohawk or a magnolia crappie. It's actually a hybrid. Pretty cool little catch there. Mohawk crappie. Okay, so I'm back in the shop and that is it for this one. It was kind of a dink fest, but we did end up catching three keepers. Uh, I caught them on a mix of some hand ties that I tie myself and some other plastics. I will link as much as I can down in the description, including my uh, setup and my line and all the plastics that I can find you. Maybe some little sleeper ones in there too, some little secret baits. So make sure to check out those links and help out the channel by uh, purchasing some of those items of tackle down there. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this one. It was a little session. I had some good fish catches, so hopefully you learned something. Uh, feel free to ask any questions down in the comment section. Uh, like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching Fishing Outside the Box.